home to the Orange Bowl each year, Miami, Florida is the site for this interconference matchup between the Seattle Seahawks and the Miami Dolphins. When you look at this matchup, you've got to talk about the deep threats, the guys that can go long, and two of the best, speediest receivers in the game are going to be on the same field today. Yeah, it's going to be fun to see how they, both teams, the offenses, how do they get the football to these speedy wide receivers, and no matter what you do on the defensive side, you go, well, we're going to take them out of the game, we're going to double team them, really, how are you going to do that when they're in motion? They're always changing formations. Very tough to do now. You just got to rely on good tackling and try to prevent those short catches and long runs. Miller's lined up in a single back formation. And that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Lamar Miller with the carry. And that's the type of run I think this offense will take all game long, Phil. Would they ever? They would love this. This is this is showing your dominance here. The offensive line doing a good job, but also a solid job by the running back picking up some good yards. The Dolphins now move the chains. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing lead, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football, pick up some first downs. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you got to say this to the defense, you did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you've got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football, that's how you stop long runs. The defense doesn't want to give up runs like that, so how do they stop it? Well, they start crowding the line of scrimmage, so you keep crowding that line of scrimmage, look out, they'll throw it over the top. Someone's been injured out there, hold on a minute. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. First and 10, back to the ground. Nowhere else to go, and he's out of bounds. Well, the long run that time, and there's a lot of reasons why they got that long run, but the, the biggest one, the good blocking up front, but what patience for the running back. He did not panic because it took a while for that running lane to develop. When it did, he saw it, he hit it, and he used his talents to get down the field for the big game. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. He gets it again on this drive. He's brought to a halt. First down by the offense in the red zone, and you know, you're on the defensive side. You don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. Picks up about two. Good job by the defense that time. Everybody's expecting a pass. They were ready for the run, and they stopped the offense for a short game in the red zone. Second and goal from the five. Touchdown! Well, if the offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. Got a flag down here. The point after try is in the books. The defense, a little jumpy right there. Dolphins set to kick it. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. Baldwin's a receiver in the slot. The give, heading right, has the first down. Now looking for more. Nothing like seeing a complete offense. That's what we're watching here today. Yes, we know they can throw it, but what they're showing us here, they can grind out some first downs running the football too. Wilson's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Gets away from the pressure. He's into the open. 
Good yardage picked up on that call. Well, that time they got great pressure on the quarterback. He stood in the pocket as long as he could, but once he broke outside, still looking down the field, trying to get that big pass play, it's not there. He takes off, and what a nice game running the football. Harvin's lined up now as a slot receiver. Percy Harvin with the grab. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. I think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting, that is an upper body injury. Hope it's not severe. We'll let you know as soon as we find out. To the right side. Got a couple. Second down now. Gets away from the pressure. In on the stop. Well, that's an awesome job by the quarterback. He hung in there as long as he could, but the pressure made him get outside the pocket and look at him. He's looking down the field for the for a pass. There's nothing there. And then he decides to scramble and look at the big yards he picks up. Touchdown. Good job by the offense. They get in there. They tie this game up. Now we'll see if the defense can take advantage of that momentum and keep it on their side. Inside of the uprights. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. Ends on the field here. Miller's handed the football. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. Good run that time. It results in a first down and it moves those chains on the sideline. Keep those chains moving. Hire that defense out. They've got them down there. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying, we're tougher than you are, and we're just going to come right at you. The Dolphins are across for the touchdown. How about this get? A wide open receiver down the field, the quarterback. Good job of finding. He throws it down there, and he gets the easy touchdown. There is a flag down. Add the extra point. The kick is good. Outside. Defense. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. Fifteen minutes down, 45 minutes to go. Back after this word from your local station. Welcome back. We're about to get back underway here in this one. The defense stops the clock. First down, offense ready for the snap. Harvin's going to take the handoff now. And he's out of bounds. Second down coming up. Wilson's going to take it from the gun. And he's forced to the ground. Well, that's a good job by the defense that time, getting the sack on the blitz. And when you blitz, you're taking a chance. 
you better get to the quarterback, and that time they did. Wilson from the shotgun, looking for a receiver on the left side here. The Seahawks now move the chains, and now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. When you have a quarterback to control the football like this guy, even though it's third and 10 plus yards, he makes a nice throw for the first down. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Throws a strike. Touchdown, Seattle. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. And the extra point is good. The Dolphins are back deep, waiting for the kick return. the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. Miller's lined up directly behind the quarterback here and the give to Lamar Miller. Well that was a nice run that time off tackle and listen this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your offensive tackle make the block? To free up that running back so he has a chance to get that secondary and make a nice run out of it. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. Back to the running back. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Always important to know where you are in the football field. That time a good job by the ball carrier. Just ekes out a first down. Nice job. And it's Earl Thomas who brought him down that time. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. Well, that's just a good old physical run by the offense there. And it's good for a few yards and gets them another first down. Leaning on that running attack again here on first down. Two-minute warning. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets them a few yards. Play number six coming up on this drive. The quarterback will hand it off. The tackle's going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. That's an excellent job. Just get enough yardage to get the first down, move those chains, and keep this offense going. He'll stay on the ground on first down. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Second and 11 getting away from the pressure. And here he goes. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. Well, that's gonna hurt you tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're gonna feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is, I think he's gonna be okay. And once he gets a little uh, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Quick drop back. Change of possession coming up as they fail to pick up the first down on fourth down. Harvins in the slot. Now first and ten. Looking to scramble, eyeing that left side. Almost intercepted. <laughs> Baldwin's lined up in the slot. The 
second down and 10. And it's incomplete. Just couldn't hold on to it after the hit. Does it take talent to do something like this? You've got to time the pass where the football's going, where the receiver's going to catch it, and do the perfect timing. Hit that receiver, and that football comes flying out. Nice job that time. Incomplete pass. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. So now a third and ten. Percy Harvin with the grab. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that looks like an upper body injury, Jim. I think we both can tell that. And uh, now the question is, how bad is it? Uh, you just never know. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Setting up a little screen. Gains 19. Nice play call that time by the offensive coordinator. A little screen pass to the halfback. He knew the defensive line was going to be charging hard. They were, and it picked up some nice yards. They've got a first down now after that catch. Toss to the outside. Going to lose yards here. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Russell Wilson has it under center. Second and 12. Miller's got it on a pass. Had some heat on it. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. This is third down. And he's going to be brought down. That's an excellent job by the defense. Just gets quick penetration in there, gets the quarterback, and gets the sack. That clock keeps moving. What a job by the defense in this situation. A short field goal try on the way. The Seahawks call a timeout here. They have zero timeouts remaining. Receivers are bunched up. He's looking to the right, brings it in for the score in the end zone. Man, what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver, but the receiver big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that catch. The Seahawks lined up now for the point after. Oh, it's a fake. And they will not convert here on the two-point conversion. Good stand by the defense. The Dolphins are back deep, waiting for the kick. And the 
tackles made right around the 26-yard line. This will probably be the last play of the first half. First and ten. Got a little screen set up here. They tackle him for a loss. And as the first half comes to a close, we'll take a quick break before the beginning of the second half here in South Florida. We're back here now in this one where the Seahawks lead by six. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. Harvin's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Goes to the left. Gets past the first wave. And pick up 35. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. First and goal. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. Second and goal from the six. Going to be a tackle for a loss. That's just a bad job by the quarterback that time. Bad decision. He keeps the football, doesn't fool the defense, and he gets taken to the ground and he loses yards. Third and goal from the nine. Looks to his left. Has it. Touchdown. Gets pretty tight down in here when you got third and goal. Not a lot of room for receivers to work in, but the quarterback and receiver, they're on the same page. Good throw and catch. They'll get set, looking to convert on this two. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. And a flag comes out. Nothing a coach hates more than giving them great field position with a kick out of bounds. Miller's lined up as the single back. It's Miller. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Second down and a long way to go. Slashes to the left side. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just putting his big butt right into the ground. They'll run with it again. The tackle is made, and that's a three-and-out series for the offense. He's wide open for the grab, but a flag is in there. The defense will not decline. They will take the penalty.
attacking that left side. He fires it in there tight. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? Just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. Miller's in the backfield, single back set. First and 10, Lamar Miller with the carry. It's Earl Thomas who makes the tackle. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. You're gonna take off with it. The defense gets the sack. That's what all defensive coordinators love to see. When they don't have to blitz, and one of their defensive linemen gets a sack without any blitzing. Defense comes to the line, ready to pounce on that quarterback one more time. Can they get another sack right here? Touchdown. That'll close the gap. Good job by the offensive coordinator. Calling those plays leads to a touchdown. They're just slowly chipping away at this lead. Now can the defense come out and help them out? The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. This kick will stay on the ground, avoiding a big return. Brought down at the 41-yard line. Tate's a receiver in the slot. They motion the receiver around to the other side. That'll stop the play right there. Well, they call this route a lot of things. They call it a goal route, a nine route, or a fly route. And all of them mean the same thing. Run as fast as you can, get behind the defense. First and 10. The screen reaches out and snatches it. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Tate's lined up now as a slot receiver. Second and 15. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And Harvin, with some nice hands, brings in the bullet pass. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. First down, following the long play. He'll fire it out to the left, makes the grab. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down, keep those chains moving, give yourself three more opportunities. That reception gave them the first down. Set up screen, makes the grab. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. The Seahawks have the football as the fourth quarter gets started. Second down coming up. The final quarter underway. And intercepted. He's got a wide open alley. He's in the clear. He's at the 50, the 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Dolphins. You talking about getting your team full of emotion and getting everything on your side. How about that interception by the defense and then taking it back all the way for the score? There is a flag. Lining up now for the got a touchdown, got a two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do, and you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. And he's 
tackle right at about the 28-yard line. Offense lines up here, first and 10. Running to the left side, and they bring it down at the 38-yard line. That's a bread-and-butter play by all offenses in the NFL. Get a few yards and get that first down. First down here after the run. Throws to the right. The Seahawks get a first down. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Takes in the slot. First attempt going off tackle here. And he'll try it left. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but and don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. The quarterback realizes time is a factor. They need to put some points on the board. That catch gives them a first down. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good that defense didn't even see that he still had the football. He throws it down there for a nice completion. Well, when you get a couple first downs, it just gives you such great confidence. It makes everybody relax. And I always say this, when you're a relaxed athlete, that's when you play your best. Time to this one's running out, and the defense knows it needs another stop. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second and goal from the eight. Handoff. He's going to the left. The Seahawks are in the end zone for the touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I just spoke with a Dolphins official. Sounds like it's just a minor issue, and he'll be back on the field shortly. up now for the two. Wilson's got the football. So put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. He executed the play perfectly and they got it in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. The kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick. Dick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. Ryan Tannehill will be under center. And the give to Lamar Miller. A tackle behind the line. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. And now we reach the two-minute warning. Defense lining up here late in this one, trying to hold on to the lead. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Well, Jim, they didn't pull the defense at all. Second down, you run the football, hoping to make it third and short. Then you lose yards. Third long, they're hard to get in the NFL. Still third down. A 
lot to overcome here, especially that penalty. And it's third down. The pass falls incomplete, and they fail to pick up a first down on this series. Double tight end formation. Looking long to Mike Wallace. Well, we'll be switching sides with this one. Ball's going the other way. Situations like this sometimes can cost you the game. You're down in the second half. Why would you go for it on fourth down in this situation? You don't get it. That decision might cost you this football game. The defense comes out of the nickel. First and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side. 21-yard pickup. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. and 10. Here's the handoff and they'll run it. They go to the right side. This is where an offensive coordinator's got to be smart. You get the red zone, you got a big lead, just worry about the clock, call very safe plays. They're able to move the chains after that last run. That touchdown might just wrap it up. Yeah, it sure will, Jim. It's been an exciting game all day, and it, uh, to score late in the game like this, to put it away, it's time to celebrate a little on the sideline. There is a flag out. Count it. Offside. Defense. Whoop, looks like the defender was the caught in the neutral the zone, Phil. Yeah, he was. Good job by the quarterback. You know, he made that little voice inflection. That'll get them every time. Quarterbacks are a little sneaky, you know. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. about a minute left it would take a miracle to pull this one out first and ten screen pass brought down picks up the first as he's tackled at the 35 Jim this time it's a halfback screen nice job by the quarterback the halfback good job after catching it picked up some good yards they're back at the line after that catch for a first down Looking to the right side and throwing. He's brought down. When you can throw an out route like that, that shows he's a strength for the quarterback's arm. The pass play was good for five. Second and five coming up. Escaping the pressure. A good piece of tackling. Number 17 on the run. One yard game on the play. Prevent defense time. Getting sacked. The name of the game is hit the guy with the football, isn't it? That's what it is. The quarterback has it, the defensive end. What a nice play. Gets to him that time and gets the big hit. He'll throw it over the middle. Caught. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. This game's come to an end. How much sweeter is practice going to be this week after the win on that sideline? Once you win, practice is easier because your confidence is high. 
you feel good about what you've done from the previous week because you won. So I think it always gives you a better chance of winning the following week because you feel so good when you're out there in that practice field. Beautiful throw that time by the quarterback. That's why we're calling the play of the game. It's just right on target. You get open, he'll put it on the money.